And when voters rejected the Hillsborough County Public Schools millage back in August, they also turned down funding for programs like the Big Red Marching Band. Now Hillsborough High School is working with old and sometimes defunct equipment, and they don't have the money to fix it. Trevor Sahaki is live outside the high school tonight with their solution. Trevor. Stacy Keith, for a Title I high school like Hillsborough High, some of the students can barely afford to pay the band fee, let alone buy their own instrument. So one senior decided to fund the band herself. The Big Red is in need of big money. No one really thinks about the lack of musical funding when I think of a lack of funding. Cracking and breaking drums, dented tubas, rusting trumpets and flutes, and a gong without wheels. Hillsborough High School's marching band needs some new hardware. From all the instruments I've seen at Hillsborough, there's some instruments where the keys don't even work. As a drum major, Tanisha Taneja is taking it on herself to raise money through her Make Music Today initiative. So a lot of our members of our marching band play on broken instruments or cracked instruments. Standing on her perch above the nearly 100 student ensemble, she sees the brass is shinier on the other side. Oftentimes when we see other bands with all these fancy equipments and all, this, all these resources, it's a little demotivating. She's raised more than $5,000 through a GoFundMe. She's distributing $1,000 each to Hillsborough High School and four other local schools. And band director Jonathan Sims couldn't be more excited. To be able to actually see it come to fruition now and actually, you know, tomorrow have something that she worked on to really get for us, her, her legacy will be here, you know, long after she leaves. So for her, I think that is absolutely amazing. Friday is the Terrier's senior night, one of their biggest performances of the year. And just in time, they'll finally be able to put wheels on their gong, a small but important step forward. So we do get some money from our district every year, as does every other school in the county. But at the end of the day, you know, it is, it's not enough to fund a program of, of 90. Sims arrived at Hillsborough more than three years ago. He saw how off-key the instrument situation was. The big instruments, the tubas, the euphoniums, the trombones, those only get replaced once every five, six, sometimes even ten or more years. His plan for any more money raised is to build out the percussion section, then go from there. But all of our students are really motivated. So despite the financial hardships, I think we're still pushing through everything and we're still trying our best. And most importantly, I think everyone's having fun. And that is the most important part. And not only is tomorrow night senior night for the band, they also have a big competition coming up in a couple weeks. So now is as good a time as any to use that money to get themselves as good as possible. And if you'd like to help out their GoFundMe, you can find a link in our article online at WFLA.com. Live in Tampa, Trevor Sahaki, 8 on your side.